So, I hope this video is going to come out okay. I had the camera set up at the back of the lathe and hopefully it's looking in the right direction. Um, okay, I've uh, completed uh, making the fins. Um, if you can see that there. Uh, I've made eight of these uh, cores um, and uh, there's about 60 fins on each core and this is to make a uh, radiator up from the design of uh, Jerry Howells. Um, I've got to the stage now where um, I need to drill a hole right the way through the core uh, working from both ends halfway in uh, with a five, uh, 5 30 second a drill bit 1.156 so um, I'm going to use the same system that I had for holding the uh, core in the lathe and that's with this uh, square uh, hole which is a two piece it's split at this point here um, and um, it uh, is uh, truly within the circle so I'm going to place that in there like so and I have a, a center in the headstock and what I made up was a um, um, a fixture that fits in the tool post to uh, with a ball bearing uh, in, inserted in there um, and uh, I used a dial indicator coming from the uh, from the headstock and dialed in the bore of the bearing uh, and uh, set that up first um, one of the things I could have done was to have moved the post over to this side in this T-slot um, which would have given me a little bit more uh, clearance on this side of the saddle um, uh, the sa that's one of the problems with the with the, uh, the tag is that the saddle is so wide and that's a good feature um, but it interferes with the tailstock uh, quite a bit and so uh, you need a, quite a bit of reach to to make contact with the part that you're machining so uh, anyway I left that at that and and I found a, an old drill bit a 532 diameter that I had soldered into a brass uh, rod uh, for a previous job to extend it and um, I did that many many years ago and I guess uh, you use everything uh, if you keep it for seven years you'll you'll have a need for it sometime so this is what happened there so that worked out very good um, and um, and so uh, what I did was I bought a ER16 um, uh, a chuck um, collet chuck with a uh, six inch uh, straight shaft half inch diameter uh, and I thought well this will be handy I can use it in the tailstock if I ever need to reach in over this uh, over the front of the saddle and that's where it's come in handy now so um, I don't have any fixture for pushing it or pulling it um, at this time I haven't completed the, uh, the whole job um, but uh, I found that uh, by uh, think, uh, hand pressure that uh, with the brass um, it, it, uh, it cuts really nicely and, uh, and it doesn't take a lot of uh, pressure on the, with the hand. Um, uh, you'll see that in action as we, as we go along. Um, of course the drill bit as well, um, I always when I'm using brass or drilling brass or anything I always have a negative rake I put a negative rake on the drill bit uh, right on the tip there on the on the cutting lands 
I, I do it with a grinder. Some people do it with a stone. Um, just uh, it doesn't take much. It just needs a bit of a, a a flat on the on the cutting angles of the drill bit to stop it from corkscrewing in. There is that possibility that that can happen, and uh, and so uh, instead of uh, screwing in, it pushes the material off the flat on the cutting edge actually pushes the flat the uh, uh, um, the material off so I'll, I'll just go ahead now and uh, keep on looking up at the camera to make sure it's still running um, same old story uh, I'm gonna put that in there like that and then I'm bringing the ball bearing up to Now there's there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of material. Um, it's a very thin wall hole that's going to be produced because uh, get that around to there on the jaw. Um, yes, it's because um, the uh, when I parted in, I went down to a size of. Uh, 0.198 approximately plus or minus and so you've got a 156 hole going through the, the middle uh, so it's a fairly thin wall um, so I just tighten that up and make sure I'll, I'll run it and just see if it's if it's running true it's running fairly true There's a little bit of a wobble there um, so, but it does need this support at this end. Now, the hole in the uh, in the in the bearing, the bore of the bearing, is uh, or probably two, three thou uh, larger. But in this case, um, it just needs lateral support. <coughs> so, uh, I put that on there. And I lock the saddle up and. We start the machine, and so what I'm going to do now is uh, I um, have a wrench or a spanner, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I just hold that on there to make to stop the uh, collet from revolving, and then I just gradually, gently start start the drilling. And I do that very slowly, not too much pressure. And this is a uh, uh, standard size, so I'm, I've not gone through with a, a smaller drill bit. I'm hoping that it's all going to work out. I've done one already, and that came out okay. Um, so as you can see, I hope push this out the way a little bit give you a bit more room to see uh, you can see the the chips are coming out and I'm hardly using any pressure at all on the on the collet and the drill bit so I just clear it a little bit um, and so uh, I'll continue doing this and hopefully the drill doesn't wander and break through the through the core. Um, so it's 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 going at a nice a nice lick and some nice chips coming out. That oh, camera's still working. Wow. Did not say too much. It's really, uh, it's really coming along quite nicely. Um, I managed to get all the fins uh, equally spaced. Um, I believe that. Uh, 
when Jerry uh, Powell uh, built his ones, he used a um, a um, uh, what you call it a a plunger type uh, dial indicator. But what I have here is a I bought a micrometer uh, spindle. Uh, cheap. They're very cheap. And it was quite accurate. It's a, it's a US made one. I can't remember the name of it. But I have it. Uh, maybe I'll take the camera when I've done this and just do a little a little uh, scan of the the unit that I put on the front of the lathe for a, uh, a saddle stop. And uh, it came out very well. Um, each uh, the um, the parting off blade was 43 thou wide, and um, the fins were actually um, uh, they're supposed to be 26 thou thick. So that made a total of well, I don't know 65 something like that, 65 thou. So I just made it 70 thou, and. Um, um, and I just just kept on turning from zero up to 0.1 or to uh, one inch, and then I just moved the uh, micrometer along in its holder and reset it, and just carried on. Getting pretty close now as far as I can go. So, 